welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Shalom, my Elam, and shalom, my fitness family. So everybody being blessed, but as I tell you, every day is a blessing while you see me and I see you, and that is a blessing. God has blessed us with another day to work in that purpose and walk that assignment out. So if you don't know what your purpose is, if you don't know what your assignment is, pray, read, study, fast. Get in that prayer closet and ask God to reveal to you what he needs to reveal to you. Because what he has for you is for you. Can nobody else take that away? Can nobody else give that to you? Only he can. So, thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my old subscribers. You know, welcome. Welcome, everybody. You know, do your girl a favor. Hit that like button. Share, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. You got to get that gospel. Get that word out there. So, um, today I want to, the Holy Spirit's going to be talking about spiritual warfare because it's something that I'm going through and I don't even want to, I don't even want to claim it, but I know it's there and I know, it, I know that's what the enemy, he wants to put us in fear. Can't fear, cannot fear. We're going to take that, find that up, cast that away, give that to the Lord and the Lord is going to sustain us. So, I'm going to hit you with these couple scriptures right here, and I pray that they help you, because they have helped me, and they helping me now, definitely helping me. So, I want to take this, give this blessing to you. My first one is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and it reads, Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. My second one is 1 Peter 5, 8. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy the devil he is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour hmm. second samuels uh yeah second samuels 22 40 and it reads you have you have armed me with strength for the battle you have subdued my enemies under my feet yes Lord. and then my last one kick it off with the best it's best for last, but all of it come together. Ephesians six eleven. Put on all of God's armor, so that you will be able to stand firm against all, against all strategies strategies of the devil. Excuse me. If that don't come together, shake it up, stir, it, give it away. I don't know what, but I know, I know what I know, and I know that these come together i know that these really will help in that spiritual warfare because it just hits all those points that i'm like what i was going what i'm going through what i was going through is that the enemy likes to try to get me while i'm asleep and he probably tries to get a lot of people while they're asleep because if he can't get you during the day while you're woke if he can't get you through people places and things he's going to get you when you think when you least expect it and that is the best time is when you sleep so I had to, I had to rebuke him in the middle of the night. Like I woke up out of my sleep. Like uh uh, mm mm, in me, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I cast you back down to the pits of hell where you came from. You are beneath my feet. My Lord told me, Second Samuel, he told me you are underneath my feet. Stomp your feet. Get up if you got to out to sleep and tell him that he is not welcome here. I had to do that, and I'm. I woke up like, uh, uh, nope. I am covered. I am shielded. I, you cannot. I will not allow you to shift me, shake me, stir me up, get me roared or ratted up. But I know what to do with you. I know how to cast you back down where you came from. I know how to put you beneath my feet. I am cup. I put the armor of the Lord on. I pray before I go to bed, and I really pray. I get down on my knees. I give Him my all, and I cover myself. I cover my children. I cover. The dog even gets anointed. Everybody, everything in my house gets anointed. Because I do not play. Because I know the enemy is going to find where we at. He just told you, he just told you right there. He's going to find every strategy. Every which way he can. To get to you. If he can't get to you, he's going to get to your children. If you can't get to your children, he's going to get to your husband. Get to your wives. Whoever you may date and whatever. He's going to find a way to get to you. And get you out of your groove. Get you out of what he knows that the Lord has promised for you. He knows once you, if you get to what the Lord has for you, he can't have you no more. He can't get to you. He knows you are something, of course, to be reckoned with. And I had to learn that for myself because I always like, what does the enemy want to do with me? But if you're already working on his side and you're lost, 
to your spiritual side. You're lost to following the Lord. You're not even on on that path of following the Lord. He got no use for you. He's like, shoot, you're just you're already on my side pretty much. If you you're just on my side. So he ain't gonna do you're not gonna get none of these sports spiritual warfare. You're not gonna get no no shaking up or stirred up. But if he knows that you're close to the Lord, if he knows that you are working towards and you're doing his work, serving the Lord's purpose for you. Yes, he's gonna do everything, every strategy in the world. He's going, he's looking for someone to devour. So that's why as believers, as Christians, you got to stay anointed. You got to stay prayed up. You got to stay alert. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy because he's looking. He's looking for every crack and crimson that he can get into and get you off your, off your game. And I had to learn that myself. Like any little, any little warfare, I'm like, oh, I didn't give up. And I'm like, that's not what the Lord did. He said, be on guard. Stand firm. Be courageous. Be strong. He made us strong. We have the strength to fight these demons, these these devils. We have it. We have it in us. We speak life. We either speak life or we speak death with the, with the power of our tongue. So you use these. Use these spiritual warfares right here. These um these couple of scriptures right here, I promise you, will, will get you where you need. Because it's just telling you right there that the Lord has made a promise to you. Stay strong. He's giving you everything you needed. Just to fight off the enemy, fight off the devils, fight off whatever that. You just got to keep yourself, you got to keep your foundation strong. You got to make sure that your foundation is built on the Lord and the Lord only. That none of these worldly things, none of these people, places, things, these cardinal mind people can get in there. Because once you allow them in there, they will start pulling it apart. Pulling your foundation, that's like just building on the shaky grounds. And as soon as the first wind blow, you, your foundation it fell down, all of that. So you got to know that your foundation is strong. Start from the bottom to the top to the top to the bottom. Know that there is no no cracks, no crimson, no leaks, no nothing. You cannot get in in a me. So I want you to use these. As I tell you, I tell you, as I give you these blessings, this is a blessing right here. So I want you to use these, apply them, and I definitely want you to be blessed. Oh,